So, Leo, why is Leonardo da Vinci considered one of the greatest genius of all times? I know he was an artist. Yeah, in fact, he was a true genius. He indeed was a great artist with iconic paintings such as the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, and many others. Mm -hmm. But he was also an innovative architect, musician, he invented several flutes, wooden instruments, and the pianola. Mm -hmm. He was a mathematician, and he was an astronomer. Astronomer? I didn't know that. Yes. As an astronomer, he studied the sun, the reflection and path of the moon and planets. He also anticipated Newton by describing the universality of gravitation. Wow. He was an anatomist, outlined human proportions, and discovered how human bodies were made and how they worked. He would open up dead bodies to study them and left over 200 pages of human anatomy drawings. Wow, that is amazing! He also studied animals inside and out, including his famous stories of horses. Mm -hmm. And of course, he was a botanist. Oh, unbelievable! Yes. Da Vinci was a visionary engineer studied the flow of water and designed water pumps and aqueducts to always have fresh water in houses. Oh. In 1502, Leonardo produced a drawing of a single span 720 foot bridge for the Sultan of Constantinople. Mm -hmm. Only in 2006, the Turkish government built Leonardo's bridge to span the Golden Horn. Wow. wow. <laughs> I, didn't, I never knew that, mm -hmm. really. For war times, he produced several futuristic and ingenious machines and devices, weapons, cannons, tanks, and movable bridges. Oh, wow. Leonardo drew the most efficient shapes of objects to travel in water and conceived the scuba dive. And he also designed a submarine. A submarine in the 1500s? Yes. Wow. He was fascinated with the phenomenon of flight, producing many studies of the flight of birds. Okay. He then designed several flying machines, including gliders, a helicopter, and many other inventions. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't know all of that. I'm glad you told me. Welcome. Bye-bye.